So this is the first time that you guys are getting to actually. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first time yeah. me seeing you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. You meet new people, you make new friends, and you get to learn a lot from them. Like I didn't know if he knows like three languages. Like he knows Arabic, French, and Wait, really? English. English. Yeah, oh. sure. <laughs> yeah, and I'm adding Spanish next year. <laughs> oh wow. Food loss and waste, the PepsiCo challenge, challenged the teams to deliver solutions that reduced food waste. So this was for the Junior Academy, the culmination of their year of work. We're gonna get started. We have a lot of presentations to run through. I particularly like the food loss and waste challenge because especially in New York and like the US, like a lot of food gets thrown out. Yeah, yeah, I just like noticed it. that. So I started off with like packaging because I realized like packaging and retail is like a really, really big issue, especially at the consumer level because like a lot of food gets thrown out. Our solution is a collapsible, flexible, recyclable, and biodegradable bottle that prevents oxidation and microbial growth, as well as serves as a freshness indicator for the product inside. When the drink is let out, our design collapses and shrinks. It prevents oxidation and microbial contamination. Funny story about it, I went to the park. There's like a fountain nearby and there's all these little kids like running and filling water balloons with it. And so there were two kids in front of me and one of them like emptied their water balloon, right? And I saw like the water balloon shrink as the water came out and I said, hey, I could use that. We came up with this proposed solution of making the thermoplastic elastoma bottle made of PLA, the polylactic acid and natural rubber. Polylactic acid, it's derived from like starches, which is really cool because a lot of like the products that PepsiCo uses incorporate a lot of starch, which means that all that potatoes and corn that gets wasted in the agricultural stages can be used later for making PLA for the bottles. Moving on to the financial side, we come up with the ideal package which costs only 10 cents. Thus, it's 35 cents cheaper than a PET bottle. I'd like to give this special thanks to our mentor, Jivon Jbola Muda from Nigeria. He was really good at like reviewing all the stuff that I and the group did and our deliverables. Like she gave really good advice on like how we could improve it. Okay, without further ado, our winning team is Team Must See. So we have Ryan Roy from the United States, Asha Abbas of Tanzania, and Osama Amir of Morocco. And there's one of their team members who was unable to join us, Yun Wan Wei of China. Hey everybody, welcome to HuffPost Live. My name is David Freeman. We're up on the 40th floor here. It's a pretty spectacular view at Lower Manhattan. And it's so exciting, amazing, and super glamorous city I've ever seen. Now that I've won this, uh, this prize, I will be like more confident about myself and about being maybe a scientist in the future. On behalf of PepsiCo worldwide, I'd like to thank everybody for participating in this food challenge and to Ryan, Osama, Asha, Yuan, who couldn't be here today. Astounding and inspirational work uh, for me to take back to PepsiCo. I'm just so impressed by all that you've done. Congratulations.